Podcast number one with uh, 72 what dash three dash 27 this is number one shut the fuck up josh all right okay i'm sorry <laughs> this is number one uh we got josh aka majestic appliance or in this case majestic stove yeah and we're gonna talk about dlc and if it spawns into something else don't judge us just let it happen just, just let us just let us touch your butt uh, all right. Well, I, um, I didn't say that. So DLCs, kind of like the, it's kind of like the ET of this generation of gaming. It's the killer of gaming, really. If you really think about it, it's like, <laughs> it's like paying more money to get, like barely extra content. Yeah, pretty much. For example, in The Last of Us. For the remastered edition, you don't get any of the DLCs if you purchase it on last gen. You would have to purchase it separately. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. So let's say you had a bunch of shit and you paid a bunch of microtransactions. Well, guess what? You gotta pay for it again. <laughs> Alright, so basically... And I think one of the biggest contributors to how terrible DLC is, is Call of Duty. I play Call of Duty. Well, yeah. I'm going to, because I'm going to get the Black Ops 3 beta, but um, which comes out in, what, two days? Oh, shit. Something like that. <gasps> Whoa, ah! Whoa, already, ah! No, wait, I think it already came out. No, for the Xbox One, it hasn't yet. What uh, the hell? You just hit me into something. Sorry. I'm also recording gameplay while this is happening, so there's something in the background instead of just a blank screen. I'm nothing this. So yeah, example, in Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3, there was a remake map that was free. Called in Modern Warfare 2, it was Terminal, and then Modern Warfare 3 is Terminal, and then Black Ops 1, it was Nuketown, and then in Black Ops uh, 2, or Black Ops 1, it was Nuketown, and Black Ops 2 was <sighs> Nuketown 2025. But... Uh, there was also a remake of a map that had the, that cost you money, which was Firing Range turned into Studio. And I don't think that's fair, man. It's like, no, it's... It's like, why didn't they include Studio in the free? Like, why wasn't Studio free? Why it was only, like, Nuketown 2025 free? Yeah. Makes no sense, man. No, you guys didn't. Also, uh, feminism. Um... <laughs> It's a joke. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, I I understand. You're really gonna catch so much shit for that one statement. You know, if if people watched me, if enough people watched me to like actually catch fire, <laughs> like I wouldn't even care. Cause I mean, I don't understand. Like, I understand if you want equality. I'm not against equality. Oh, God, no. I'm against. I have a Basically, brilliant idea. I'm Let's against, uh, kill all the men, I'm but against, only keep the ones we want yeah. for uh, reproduction. I'm I'm only against matriarchy, because matriarchy is the opposite of patriarchy, which feminists are technically rooting against patriarchy, but they're trying to establish a matriarchy, which is not good, especially when third wave feminists don't even have a real goal. It's kind of just a clusterfuck of a bunch of shit. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, it's not really, like, it's not really one thing. It's like, you know, because, like, the first wave and the second wave had an actual goal. Yeah. Like, first wave, I think, was voting rights, suffrage. Mm hmm And then, I don't know what second wave was, probably, uh, oh, yeah, e equal treatment? Equal pay? Yes, that's probably it. I don't know. But actually. they never I, really got? Yeah, they never really got. So third wave feminism was born, and basically, it's like a, um... It's like the red-headed stepchild that you want to murder in your sleep, but you know you can't. You know you can't, because you, you would get in trouble. See, because, like, okay, um, <laughs> um, like... There was a, there was, I'm not gonna let, ever forget this. There was a guy who helped land a, what was it, a rover on a comet? What's that? 
Remember when they landed something on a comet? Oh and, yeah. And the guy was wearing like a shirt with girls on it, and he was not remembered for l helping land said thing on comet. He was remembered for wearing the shirt. Yeah. And he had to uh, publicly apologize, and he was like crying. That's not okay. I don't know if you know this. That wasn't even fair to him. That wasn't fair to him. He also, helped land do. He helped do something that like. Also, I don't know if you know this, but we get flack for what you know. Well, feminists think we get flack for what they wear. But how are you? You're judging someone on what they're wearing. Like, if you want to wear a picture, uh, a um, a shirt with a bunch of dudes on it, go ahead. I don't understand the problem. Here. You know what? My recent problem with feminism has stemmed from the fact that all, all of a sudden I met a feminist who shits on me because I like anime. <laughs> really? Like that's, yeah, because anime mm -hmm. as misinterprets females as for being like, like saying that because like they're slutty, blah, 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 blah. I was like, no, they're not. Number one, I'm about 95% sure all the female anime characters I like or more respectful than you, yeah. actually have more de decency than you, and are probably less of a whore bag. Yep. I don't know who you're talking about, but that's that's a good argument. No, it's not even characters in general. It's just characters in general. I try to stay away from uh, I try to stay away from feminists. I like... I'd love I'd love to, but sometimes they find me. It's funny because I actually there was a post I saw and I responded to it. It was basically just a chick shirtless, revealing her nipples, saying free to nipple, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I don't remember what I, I, I gotta find my phone. I don't remember exactly what I put, but a lot of people agreed with it. It had like three retweets, we t oh, retweets, and like 12 favorites. And yeah. I think it was, uh, if you want respect, why are you doing this? This is not a way to gain respect. It was something like that. It was something like reasonable. Because, you know, what's unreasonable is showing your fucking nipple on the internet and then complaining about it the day next day when you're like, oh, no, my nudes. I don't understand that. I don't know. I don't know. I, but, like, again, I try to avoid any confrontation whatsoever because that's just not kind of the person I am. Yeah, true. But because I wear a shirt, because I, I shop at Hot Topic, so mm -hmm. I wear a lot of those kind of weird little shirts. Mm -hmm. And so I have, like, anime shirts because I like it. And so they find me <laughs> and hunt me down. They hunt you down for wearing a good shirt. Yeah, a shirt I like. For sh it's a fucking show. It's what is the what is it? It's like uh, I think the I think it was my it was a, my Sword Art Online shirt. Oh, yeah. So it has like. Isn't that yes. on? The, I'm gonna watch that on Netflix. That's on Netflix. Yeah. Uh, and because the girl has, and it was like one of the ones where she's like in the real world, mm -hmm. and she has very large breasts in the real world, mm -hmm. versus the video game world. And so it was, it was like it had like her on it, mm -hmm. and it was like, and they hunted me down with via that using that wow, because really? of that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I think another problem. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's just so stupid. Like, I understand if you want treatment. I understand that. That's fair. That's equal. I mean, equality. that is. That should be the at, goal. At this point, I don't. This is gonna be a really bad example, mm -hmm. but work with me. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like these new age feminists are like the new Black Panther Party in a way, where the old one hates the shit out of them. Oh yeah, I understand <laughs> that. I understand that. Actually, that's a hate group, technically. Yeah, no, no and what, and I, I will never condone anything that the Black Panther part, the original Black Panther Party did in history, but the original idea of the Black Panther, pa Black Panther Party was not wrong in any way. Wasn't it just equality? No, the original uh, idea was to protect oh, yeah. uh, black children from white cops. Oh, that's right. I remember that, yeah. And that what they did to do it was basically they pushed their legal rights to their very limit. Mm. Like they stood and watched cops. Oh, really? 
at a certain distance because they were legally allowed to do it. It was a law that you could watch. Whoa! Nice reach hacks. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So. That... Like I I I remember watching a movie about the walkout thing that happened in Los Angeles with the brown oh, yeah. pamper party, which it was like a variation. Uh, the brown hats or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a variation. Or yeah, the brown berets. That's right. Yeah, that's right. They were like the same people. Yeah, they were very similar. Yeah. They took the original idea from the Black Panther Party. And just mixed it into a... The... Latino. Uh, Latino. Yeah. Um, the Kachana... Yeah. K yeah. You know? Helena, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, uh, and they were just trying to protect them, because, like, I guess... Because yeah. basically they did that because... For rights, right? It was for rights. And it was also because they were doing it because they don't. Because the schools were unfairly. Also, uh, the schools didn't get paid for that either. No, they like the schools didn't get any. Got were underfunded, under. No, but that's staffed. why. They, that's why. Yeah. That's why they chose the route they did because they didn't. Because you make money in school from attendance. Yeah, and so that was the whole point. If they yeah. just walked out, there's nothing they could do about it, and then. The they police, can't... once again, made their greatest error of all time that fucked them over. Brutality. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the whole reason that um, Selma worked so fucking well. Who? Oh, Selma? Selma? Yeah. Yeah. Because the police oh, uh, yes. Yes, that's a beat great the example. shit out of them that's on public example. television. Yep. I also, then, was, and... I also watched John Oliver. I like John Oliver. Um, oh, I love John Oliver. He's so funny. Yeah. It was the one yesterday where he was talking about discrimination against the LGBT. Oh, uh, really? Yes. Yesterday? Yesterday. It's new. Rape. Rip. Um, yeah. And it was... I liked it. I like how he like his unique spin on things. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing right now is he's become a uh, te televangelist. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just to prove how stupidly shitty it they, is. They sent him actual seeds, seeds, like like gardening seeds. <laughs> I think that's so stupid too. You never hear about it really, because it's not as popular as it used to be. But like, it's still around televangelism yeah. like it's still around you I just I never I'm not really I, a religious person anyway so I don't really pay attention I mean you'll see me I I, I do attend church from now on then and I, I love my church yeah that, I mean that's fine that's your own choice I understand that I, I, and it's more because I like the way they do things they don't shove it down your throat yeah and they see, make it fun. See, what I would do if I was a church, I wouldn't, I would just, you know, if people want to come, come. You don't force people to come. No, basically, like, like, like I they, can't they force... thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. and, and and the pastors are, like, fun mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. During, like, the sermon and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's fun. So that's why I like with that why I like going there. But uh, so but I'm not deeply religious. Yeah. Uh, what my belief in is, we all know Jesus did exist. Mm -hmm. There's no you can't deny that fact. There's historical evidence that he did. Mm -hmm. um, I believe he. There are some things that can't be totally explained mm -hmm. at all. So and those are the miracles. Mm -hmm. I, you, if you, there's no evidence proving that they didn't happen or they did happen. Mm -hmm. It's just some based on what you believe. This Wi-Fi is cutting out. Is it out? Did it go out? I hope not. Yep. Rip. Skype is an ass. So basically, I'll just finish this sentence. So basically, my per belief is that there, 
there possibly is a god. Yeah. So I'm one of the I'm like one of those people that like because I always grew up with uh if you can prove to me if something exists, I'll believe it. Yeah. But because there's no proof either way, yeah. I have to be stuck on the fence about it. Yeah. Like I I like I don't know. It's like I I'm okay with like you know, religion, because, you know, that's your own thing. It's America. Um, but, like, if you try to shove it, like, down someone's throat... They'll hate it even more. Exactly. Like, like that's why religion has such a bad rep. Because <laughs> there's a lot of idiots. <laughs> and what makes me mad is that, like, I know a lot of people that are Christian. Mm -hmm. All of them are... None of them are like the people that would shove anything down your throat. Yeah. And what makes me mad is Christians get the bad rap of doing that. Yeah. When I know for a vast majority, we're not that kind of people. No. And so it's just like we get shit for it. And it's just like the same thing as you generalize Muslims, which yeah. is just, which is still it's wrong in every fucking way. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I hate generalizations like... I'll make really stupid jokes about generalizations, like, mm -hmm. I generalize my own because I'm Puerto Rican, so I'll generalize and make jokes about it. Mm -hmm. Like, saying, like, you don't trust a Puerto Rican will rob your shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. And things like that. Or we will cut you, and things like that, and it, mm -hmm. it's terrible. But... It's me. I'm making a generalizations about myself, which yeah. is which is wrong still, but it's, it's fun. It's not as wrong. But it's not as wrong, and it's a joke, and you know it. Yeah. But when people say that, like, all Christians are just, like, we shove things down your, your, our faith down your throat, mm -hmm. that's not right. It's a bad generalization. It's like saying, it's this is a far stretch, like, the generalization that all Muslims are terrorists. Yeah. That's terrible. That's awful. Yeah. I had a really cool friend who was at, no wait, like I had it went to uh I went to Ramadan with uh I was invited to Ramadan mm -hmm. with my to my family cuz they're friends with these with this family mm -hmm. and they're all of these are nice people and because and and these people are awesome because they told us uh, that when the Muslims invade and take over America, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll hide us in the they'll they'll be, will be the Christians that they hide in the closet to protect. <laughs> so they were making jokes then. Yeah, they were making jokes. Yeah. So it was it was awesome. So. Yeah. So you can't make generalizations about a people no matter what you no matter what you basically believe. True. Oh yeah, I just thought of this. Hmm. One of my favorite things I've ever seen a te televangelist ever tell me, or tell me, uh, tell people, is this was early in the 2000s, so it's he's probably been shut down because of this stupid fucking statement. Uh, hmm. He said that Pokemon was training you to, to oh, I remember uh, that. control I remember. demons. I remember that. And it was so fucking funny to listen to. I remember that. <laughs> why, why Pokemon is just a game I don't understand it's a show too and it's like it's about a forever 10 year old I know and the main premise of the show is friendship yeah but you're controlling demons so yeah you're the devil <laughs> I mean, to be honest, the games your 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 trainers kind of can be considered a dick bag. True. Because like all you do is capture all these innocent Pokemon and shove them in a PC. True. Like you get the fuck in there, Ekans. Get no in, one likes you. Get in the slot. <laughs> like Jesus. Like you just start punching it to get it in there. That's animal abuse, Peter. Fuck Peter. I know, right? Who the fuck is it? Fuck Peter. Both the bread. No, I'm just I mean. Uh, the dude from Hunger Games, <laughs> and and the animal, I don't know. Rights group. What are they, animal rights? Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're all about animal rights and, uh... Sure they are. Sure. 
animal I mean, rights. the only thing I won't understand is why it took them so long to file a complaint about the whole Tanuki suit. Tanuki suit? <laughs> yeah, they can file a complaint against Nintendo because of Mario's Tanuki suit. Oh, is that the one where he's like wearing fur? Yeah, he's wearing like, he looks like a raccoon dog. Yeah. Isn't that the one where you like fly and shit? Yeah, you hover. Yep. Yeah. Really? And they found it. Yeah, because a tanuki is an endangered animal mm -hmm. in Japan because they're hunted like really indiscriminately mm -hmm. and really brutalized. Is it P is PETA like everywhere? Fuck like, yeah. Is it not just America? I think they they have branches all over the place. Oh god. Because it's not PETA's not technically. America. They've done good things for a while, so mm -hmm. I can't really complain about them. How about? I mean, how about? I thought it was huh? ridiculous that they filed a complaint about Pokemon too, yeah. but then that that kind of got dropped because it was ridiculous. They realized. Oh wait. Children like this game. Shut up. Don't talk. Drop, drop the suit. Drop it. And then, actually, PETA was also been the biggest fuck up of their lives by by basically start giving themselves wide open room for a copyright claim. When? Basically, PETA or someone associated with PETA created a game called Pokemon Black and Blue, mm -hmm. where you play as a Pokemon and you beat the shit out of people. Oh. And because they used the name Pokemon in this fat flash made game, mm -hmm. they opened themselves up for such a large loss. Copyright claim that they'd get anally raped. Jeez. Sounds like a bad loss. Well, Pokemon's one of the largest yeah, true. things Nintendo has. True. After, like, Mario and The Legend of Zelda. True. I think it might, actually, no, I think Pokemon might be larger than Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I think so, too. Pokemon's, uh, Pokemon seems like it. Yeah, I think it'd be larger than The Legend of Zelda, but not as large as Mario. No. No, Mario's largest. Definitely. But of course, right now, uh, Mario's been outclassed by other games. True. There's a game, uh, what is it Call called? Call of Duty! There's a game, yeah, Call of Duty. There's a game called, I forgot what it's called, but it looks like, it's like the animation style of, like, older Disney, mo like, animations. Like Steamboat Willie, or Popeye. Okay. okay. And it's like a platformer. Huh. And I heard it. It's really, it's really original. I forgot the name of it though. But yeah, it's like, it's, it looks like you know that era of am animation. Huh. It's cool. Yeah. It was like an original thing, because like people always complain about non-original things. I mean, the problem with that is because people ta people take advantage of the original ones to a certain extent, That's but then true. they they and when, and I'm about ninety five percent sure the moment this game really fully comes out, mm -hmm. everyone will complain about it. Yeah, I assure you of it. Like, all the people that said it was so original are all going to be saying it's like it's such and such a game, blah, blah, fucking yeah. lot. Like, like Titanfall was compared to Halo and all this, and that hype went down as soon as the game came out, because it wasn't that great of a the game. Thing, and the one that game that I feel like got too, too much hype and said it's so original was uh, Destiny. Oh, yeah. That was like Halo and Call of Duty combined. No. what? It was basically... Um, Defiance. That's true. I know what that's you're talking what it about. was to me. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's true. Defiance came out first, and Defiance had three things going for it. Yeah. It had a game, a show, and a comic. Yep. Destiny had none. Destiny just had the game. Destiny just had the game, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, it's so much better. It's so original. Literally, last year we had an exact, basically the same fucking game. Yeah. But it miserably failed. Yeah. For some reason. And now I can get it for free. Why would I play Destiny when I can get it basically the same fucking game for free? free yeah. On Xbox Live or Steam. I'm gonna get that game now. Yeah. It's Is really it fun? fun? Yeah, it's really it's pretty fun. Alright, and we're back. 
liked need... everything you thought you liked, but after five minutes, you realized you didn't. I need to find, like, generic music right now. Do, do, like, elevator music. <laughs> really generic elevator music? Yeah, exactly. We'll be right back. Just kidding. After this, dancing elephant. Do, 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 do. It's a tap dancing elephant because I don't give a shit. Because I don't give a fuck. Hey, you motherfucker. Hey, you motherfucker, die. Oh, what the hell? You can burn wood into what? What do you burn to. What? You can burn wood in Minecraft? What does it make? Charcoal. Oh, <gasps> what do you use for charcoal? You, if you don't have. can't find coal. Oh, that's what you use for charcoal? That's, what the, what, if you if you can't use if you can't find coal, you just burn wood and then you get charcoal. And it's basically the same thing. Oh, you can use it for for torches. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Ooh, I just learned something new. I'm gonna try to use a. I'm gonna make a torch for charcoal. If it works, let me know. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Huh, good to know. I didn't know that, actually, at all. You learn a new thing every day, Brian. Mm-hmm. I'm eating because I'm hungry. <laughs> Talkies are a very important part of my life right now. <laughs> I got a I gotta voice over um, what, a Let's Play. Of uh, Wolfenstein, the new blood. The new blood. Yeah, or the old yep. blood. The one that was like a standalone DLC to the old New Order, the New Order. Well, that that game was weird as fuck. Yeah, but it was killing Nazis. You were killing Nazis and banging one chick. Yep. At random occasions that didn't make sense. Yep. And that was really awkward. Dude, my dad was like in the room one time. It's like, what the fuck is happening? Um, you see, dad. You see, a man and a woman love each other very much. I teach him the birds and the bees. Remember the birds and the bees. See, what happens is, you see here. I love the birds and the bees because it's such a stupid thing that I can do with it. Like someone legitly asked me one time, "How is a platypus made?" Well, you see here. Or no, actually, no, actually, like I said, it was because I explained a platypus once it was half a uh, duck, half beaver, mm -hmm. and one of my friends asked me, "How does that work?" Because I, and I looked him dead seriously in the eye and said, "You see." When a duck and a platypus, when a duck and a beaver love each other very much, they make and sweet, sweet there, love. They make sweet, sweet love. Get back here, Superman, so I can beat your ass. No, it really was Superman. I'm sorry. I didn't know. If only Goku was here. He could beat him. Should I'm every fanboy ever? I'm super bored. I'm just basically like playing single player Minecraft. I could build right now and not and still do this, but I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. How the hell do I get back in? Oh, I'm, just, okay. I'm I'm in whatever Mineplex. Oh okay. I'm just play I'm just playing single player. I don't know why I just joined. Hello, do you wanna play some soccer? Survival games. 